All right, so I am going to do a quick video on making a servo winch. I have a cheap Amazon servo, 20 bucks or something like that. I'll have all the description down below. What I used, a uh, Precision RC Raptor controller. You know, 10 15 minutes of your time, and you got a pretty decent uh, servo winch. So, here we go. Basically, I take everything apart. Once you open that up, you're going to have the your motor, your controller, and what I basically do is I get rid of everything I don't need one less thing you got to worry about so pop those off I'll say that one was the negative positive get rid of that There's other ways to do this by leaving this all in there, but for these servos, you don't need any of that. Just get rid of that. So that leaves you the motor and room in there to um, hide the controller in there so it's all nice and neat. If I remember right, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I cut all this extra mounting bracket, little plastic chunks out of there just to make a little more room. the controller so that's the prep for the servo nothing um, and I found these I want to say I got this off a main I think they're 20 bucks pretty solid unit so originally uh, I had it mounted on the outside of the servo you know trying to make it look pretty and get all the wires tucked in and it just, it wasn't, uh, I don't know, it could have been better. So then I noticed that this is just a 3D printed case. It pops right apart. That's all that's in there. Pretty cool case though, and I, I never throw anything away, which is a problem sometimes, but it's nice if you need something. So, what I like to do Everything's pretty much labeled. So you got your winch label on there. And that's gonna go basically directly, I'm gonna solder that directly to the motor. And what I like to do with this, cause it's, you know, it's an exposed circuit board. It's gonna be tucked in the case. It's not gonna touch anything metal or whatnot, but I just, to feel safe, I, uh, Either use a piece of big shrink wrap, shrink wrap it on there, or not shrink wrap, heat tube, whatever you want to call it. I'll do a little electrical tape, back wrap it. So you put the back wrap in, sticky side, non sticky side. So you want to put the non sticky side on that board in case you ever want to take it back apart. You don't get all the electrical tape goo on there. So you do a good wrap with that and give it a quick spin. Do a layer of that so you got the... There. So nothing sticky on the outside and nothing sticky touching that board so when you take it back apart everything's nice and clean still. Just like this one. 
this was all installed. Um, I think I burnt that motor up doing something stupid. So that is that. So let's prep this. So we got your, your winch. Go and cut that down. Kind of handy for the hobbies. It really, this is a uh, 30 to 22 gauge set of strippers. Comes in handy for this little stuff. So look at these wires prepped. Go ahead and plug in my one up racing pro soldering iron. Running that off a of 4S pack. These things are awesome. Heats that right up quick and easy. You've got some solder. One Up Racing has everything you need hardware, the best greases out there. Excellent customer service. So that's heated up. Put my gasket back on there, that fell off. Keep it somewhat waterproof. So far I don't like water, so, okay. Let's prep these a little bit, a little Tin action on that. Okay, that's a done deal. Huh. I left everything long. Um, Cause you never know, you, you're gonna change stuff up. So we kind of coil that around in there and give it a nice, and what's nice about this, is it already has the grommet slide that to where you want it all right this is going to be the death of me you can't cut that up short make it a little tighter in there but if you do it right there's plenty of room Stuff that down in there.
I'm just gonna pull the old grommet out. There you go. Everything is nice and neat now. This goes through one of your aux channels on your receiver. This goes into your battery. So what I do on mine is I'm in adapter. So basically, I pull right off the my 3S balance port on my uh, on my lipo. So when I go to run, if I'm using my winch, I go ahead and just plug that in. Um, what I like to find handy, like if, especially if I hand off my truck to someone, one of my kids, uh, someone doesn't really know what's going on, uh, I like to not plug that in, um, and just in case they hit the button for the winch, uh, I use a a spectrum and it's on you know on or off so it'll keep going unless you turn it back off so you don't want to burn up your winch that way uh, 25 to spline so you can buy the I think reefs has a spool kit on a main um, what I did is I just had an old uh, servo horn round one and hub off a 12 scale just to make it kind of cool boom that bolts right on there and there's my uh, you know, $40 servo winch, and uh, works pretty good. So that's it. Thank you.